I'm Kinsey. I'm a solutions consultant here at Depalti. Depalti is a global accounts payable solution that has a direct integration with QuickBooks Online. So today I want to spend some time showing you how invoices can be processed directly into QuickBooks. Then I'm going to demonstrate how invoices can be processed with the Depalti QuickBooks integration. So let's get started. Today we're going to be looking at two different invoices. We have invoice number 100 coming from Progress Inc. Looks like it's for $1,000 for subscription license. Then we have invoice number 101, also from Progress. Looks like $650 for additional services. Let's first process invoice number 100 directly into QuickBooks Online. So here we have our QuickBooks dashboard. In order to process this invoice, we need to go to this plus icon right here at the top. Then we're going to go under vendors, down to bill. And now here we can code the invoice into QuickBooks. So first is the vendor. So I already have progress added as a vendor in this environment. So here we go. I can click progress. And now QuickBooks remembers the mailing address and maybe any terms that we have associated with this vendor. All right. So let's go back to the invoice and see the dates. It looks like, okay, the 5th and it's due on February 5th. So here we are. That's correct. And then this will be the following month. Here. Now it was invoice number 100, I recall. Now I know it's progress, it's for subscription license. This looks like it should be professional services. So we'll put that in here. And what was that description? Yep, just quick subscription license. For $1,000. There we go. Now we have this invoice coded into QuickBooks. We're going to save it. And now this is now so associated with the progress vendor record in QuickBooks. Perfect. So now let's see how we can process invoice number 101 directly into Depalti, then that, how that syncs over to QuickBooks Online. So here we have our second invoice number 101. And this is Depalti. So this is what we call the global AP hub. And with Depalti, you'll have an inbox associated with your instance here. And Progress will email the invoice directly into that inbox. Then Topalti will look at the attachments and then scan in the invoice. So you can see here, this is directly the same invoice that we're looking at over here, invoice number 101 from Progress for $650 for additional services. Now what Topalti does is we use OCR to scan in and code the invoice. So you can see here, the fields have automatically been populated. The payee name, the dates, even the line items, here are the line items, have been automatically coded into Tipalti. Now, we actually have married this with a managed services team that will look at this, give this a once over as well. So that by the time it gets in your hands, the AP team's hands, it's completely coded. So your team's not spending time doing manual tasks, like coding in the invoice. So once this is coded in and saved into Tipalti, this actually directly syncs over to QuickBooks. So if we go back to QuickBooks here, and I search for um, progress, let's just go over here and we'll go to instances for QuickBooks. Progress Inc. And we have a couple bills in here. This is bill number 100 that we did together. Now we have bill number 101. And you can see it's completely mapped and synced over directly from Tipalti. The GL is here for professional services. The amount, the dates, even the terms are all directly mapped over. That's it for today. I just wanted to show you how invoices can be processed um, via QuickBooks and within Tipalti QuickBooks integration. 
please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. Thank you so much.